Yo, what's good? I just took the GCPN, which is the cloud penetration testing from SANS588. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you my take on the course. And so I got an 84 out of 100% on the course. And I'm just super excited, super happy about it. This was one of those courses that I've always wanted to take um, forever in a day. And I finally got a chance to take it. I didn't waste any time with scheduling the exam. I took the exam early because I felt like it was nothing else to learn. I bludgeoned these books several times. <laughs> I'm a thread hunter. If you are a OG to the channel, you know that. But I learned thread hunting through penetration testing courses. And so here I am with another one, baby. I started with five. I started with infrastructure attacks and red teaming. It goes over Kubernetes in the most comfortable way that I've seen. Um, this also goes into how to persist on a container. And then the services like EC2, Azure calls it uh, Azure VMs. And uh, it just gives you the whole perspective of a cloud and what you need to do to pen test. This does also go over domain fronting, which I've seen domain fronting, but again, seeing domain fronting explain clearly and with detail and understanding what i need to know versus everything about domain fronting was like the this was just gold this was just magic um once i attacked five i went into four which was vulnerabilities and cloud native applications this one goes over Terraform. This, this goes over serverless Azure and serverless AWS. Now, AWS calls their serverless Lambdas and Azure calls their serverless Azure Functions. But what they are essentially is it's like a command that you can use to manage your VMs or manage your resources in the cloud. And the way that attackers can exploit that is if you have a valid account, you can you have basically command execution um, through there. I've been on serverless functions for a while because I know that you can you can do a lot with a serverless function. Um, in addition to managing your applications, you can also redirect um and you could definitely redirect to a c2 using a serverless function um so yeah there's um <laughs> there's a lot that you could do uh, with that um you just have to be a little bit creative a little bit smart and you can you can definitely pull it off um <laughs> for for three which i went over next it goes over more of the services like ec2 for aws um Azure VMs for Azure went over the cloud services versus um, exploiting an application. And and with this, it's like um, you have to be careful here because you could definitely break your terms of service and you don't want to do that because you don't want to get fired. You want to get you don't want to get sued. So um, there's that as well. But um, if you attack an EC2, you're essentially guessing the user's passwords. You don't want to actually attack the EC2 provider makes sense because she's gonna be in jail bro yeah so you're basically seeing what roles what permissions um you have and what you can get away with in that perspective and then with attacking identity systems matter so much here um you know stealing api keys um username harvesting you name it all the authentication standards that's where this one shines the most because it's going to go over OAuth, it's going to go over um, all of those things. SAML, OpenID Connect. It's even going to tell you the way that um, you can enumerate usernames with Azure. Basically, you just put a username in there. And if it leads you to the password prompt, then you know that it's valid. And if it doesn't, it's not valid. So there's a free one for you there. You're welcome. And then it's one, of course. This is where your policy is for the most part. And like just reconning the site. Um, getting a list of host names and such like that, which is uh, super important. Uh, mask scan and just all of the things, bro. Uh, so overall, yeah, I definitely recommend whether you are a penetration tester or you are a threat hunter, get this course. Try to take it because the, I think the difference here is if I would have taken if I would have taken cloud security, they would have threw a lot of stuff at me that I didn't need, and I didn't want that. Um, in addition, it's like you know. Um, with penetration testing, you notice that I named Kubernetes Terraform. You notice that I named Azure VM, EC2, all of that. It's going to show you all of that stuff.
You know what I'm saying? So it's like you're getting I feel like I'm, I'm getting three for the price of one by taking penetration testing courses because you're going to teach. They're going to teach you how to work the tool and then they're going to teach you how to exploit the tool. Teach you how to work Docker and then do bad stuff with it. Teach you how to work Kubernetes and do bad stuff with it. Teach you how to work AWS EC2 and then how to do bad stuff with it. Same thing for the command lines and all of that stuff. So it's like, what better thing to get than a penetration testing course, especially when it comes to security and such. These guys actually penetrate, like these guys are actually in the field. They're actually in the jungle actually pen, pen testing the cloud and then coming back with good results. All they do is they, they take the commands they run and the scenarios they run, and then they take out all of the identifying factors so that they don't get sued, and then they give them to you. And so it's like, what better way to learn than from people that are doing it versus good or best practices or what you should do in the cloud? I don't want to learn that. I want to learn like what are people actually doing to get into this thing? So pretty happy here. Please like and subscribe if you've never seen my stuff before. It helps, I guess. I don't know. I guess it helps. I'm going to see you guys next week. I'm going to stay more consistent. And um, we out. I don't have anything else to say. Peace.